Hey guys, JT Tran, and today is Heather, and we want to talk about uh, every Asian guy, it seems like every Asian guy loves this topic, online dating. So we're going to talk about like OkCupid, as well as all those AMXF, AMWF Facebook groups and everything like that. Uh, so Heather, tell me a little bit about your online dating experience, because that's kind of how you predominantly met your Asian boyfriend, the ones that you dated. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I've met every guy I've dated through online dating sites. And so it works, at least, right? <laughs> it does work, but... <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that it's the best approach. From an Asian for, point for, of view. For Asian, hey, for white girls that love Asian <laughs> guys, that's our picking. Yeah. <laughs> we just, uh, they line up for us. But for Asian guys, I mean, how many of us are actually out there that are like, hey, I just like Asian men, I'm just going to be on these online dating sites. Like, it's... It's like a pyramid scheme, <laughs> in other words, right? No, uh, they're not in your favor. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the girls, they... I mean, this is true of any girl online. I mean, that's, that's true regardless if you're going for white guys or, or, or whatnot. Girls are always going to be the one that's getting flooded, except if you change the, the dynamic, although that's a completely different topic. Um, but generally speaking, they're the ones being sought after. But it, it that... The, the problem then becomes when a white girl is sort of maximizing her dating market value by going to Asian groups and she can get like a flood, like 10 times as much as if she was going to a regular site like OkCupid. So I think that you've been in these groups and there's this obviously hierarchy at play, even amongst the women. Yeah, um, I mean, it just kind of depends on the group. Everyone's got like their their regulars. Everyone has their queen bees, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, so it just really depends on each, all the dynamics in the different groups. Um, I will say that it just really is women's choice there. Right. And even if you're in there and you think you're talking to this girl and you think that oh. she's really into you, she's probably talking to like 10 other Asian guys right yeah. now. I, I remember in this one article, uh, they sent like this reporter into one of these groups and he shows up to this house party and it's like 20 Asian guys, maybe two girls, and he's talking to like, you know, interviewing all the guys there and it turns out like two of the Asian guys are dating the same girl and they didn't know it. No way. <laughs> right? You should, I'm sure that happened. <laughs> um, but you know what? We'll keep on come, talking about like the downside. What's like, how does a guy, let's say he's like, all right, I'm not going to go out even though it's the easiest way to meet a girl. I am going to concentrate on just this, this, this Facebook group, so any kind of like whatever AMWF chat, um, like, you know, tiny chat. What's a way for him to maximize his opportunity? How can he outcompete all the other hundreds of Asian dudes chasing that one girl? Gosh, I think you should really, first of all, know the, what is it, the target, the set? <laughs> <laughs> know her, like actually see what her interests are, see what she likes, that sort of thing. Um, and kind of indirectly bring that into the conversation. Find something that she's super passionate about. She's going to want to talk about herself. Research? Do you research? Every, like, my Do your Google stalking? <laughs> right? No. I mean, my favorite topic to talk about, the easiest one, is myself. It's the okay. one I know the best. So if you can get her talking about herself, that's a good start. But I think every guy's got her talking that way too. So do try to get the topic to more interests that she actually likes versus her. Okay. So can you give any sort of anecdotes as to some of the guys that have approached you online and were successful? They just like said, hi, Heather, how's it going? And you just started chatting back? Yeah, um, it really, I mean, it depended on the situation. One guy was, um, we just kind of got to talking about a common interest. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, like, it was all, I looked forward to talking to this guy. Like, just, I would log on just specifically to talk to him, even though I was big in that group, I just wanted to talk to him. Um, because we had that commonality. Okay. Um, another different situation was I was being like, harassed by another user. This guy came in and saved me. And like, you know, oh, I'm her boyfriend or whatever. And I was like, hey, thanks, you know. And he's like, yeah, no problem. You know, we'll talk later. And it was just more, it became not, it wasn't much pressure in that situation. Mm -hmm. and so I felt more comfortable to speak to him. So it depended on the situation for me, but I think more commonly it's those common interests. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I go, again, you know, 
Online dating is just going to be very difficult for Asians in general. Uh, and any of these kind of AMWF groups, like the odds are even worse. You, you would think it would be the opposite, but the odds are actually even worse because these girls, and I'll be frankly honest, a lot of these girls, not all of them, uh, I've seen some very attractive girls, but in general, these girls in these groups are not what I consider like quality girls. Uh, divorce, single with kids or single with mini kids um, or just, uh, you know what, you're gonna find and meet more attractive higher quality women in real life. So don't settle for just these groups. Um, but if you are going to try your, your chances in online dating, you should definitely check out our book, Online Dating for Asian Men, The Scientific Method for Dating Girls Faster and Easier with Less Rejection. And I'll give you a big tip, I know we haven't talked about this, but how important would you say is their profile picture? That's your foot in the door, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is a big thing. Um, and don't just like take like one photo, make it kind of fuzzy and just put it out there. Put like, actually take some time and work mm -hmm. on your photos and put quite a few up there. I wanna, if I'm going through your photos, I wanna be entertained by your life story. I wanna see that you're a fun guy. Mm -hmm. I wanna see that you have hobbies. I wanna, I, if I'm going to be investing time in you, like I wanna know that I'm gonna have fun. Yep. And that's for Facebook. For OkCupid, where you can only really have one, like the primary profile picture, I've tested this. We went from 20% to 40% open rate. So like in OkCupid, statistically speaking, Asian guys of any like ethnic male group, I think we're like the, the lowest and not the lowest uh, open rates. But what I discovered was getting a profile picture, do it outside, full body, not just your face, not some blurry bathroom selfie, but full body outside where the lighting is great and doing something interesting, like a hobby, whether it's, you know, it could be swimming, volleyball, surfing, shooting, whatever. Show her that you're active and, you know, don't be putting up like those anime faces or anything like that. Like show um, range, okay? And that's the thing. You can't really tell how tall you are. If you're like me being five foot five, you can't tell. And it makes you look kind of this, this larger presence. So that's a really quick, easy tip to be a little bit more successful in the more traditional um, online dating, whether it's OkCupid, okay eHarmony, and we've obviously talked about uh, all the Facebook groups. Any other last tidbits of wisdom when it comes to online dating? Um, just know that it doesn't even matter what the girl's interested in, mm -hmm. it's still a buyer's market for her. Mm -hmm. So you've got to come out, even with your internet A game, I guess, and you do have to keep her entertained. This is something that she is going to weigh against all the other guys talking to her at the moment. So be entertaining, be fun, show that you have a life outside Facebook or you know, okay, keep it or whatever. Right, right. Um, it's a lot of work, I'll be honest. And, you know, either I would just recommend either get her book OD4AM or meet her in real life. Because you were mentioning this earlier, how different it is when you're approached online to when you're approached in real life. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Well, for one thing, if we're just going on Asian guys, you guys don't approach me in person. <laughs> this <laughs> like, never happens, right? I could wear this shirt, you know, still wouldn't approach me. <laughs> but um, online, it's from the gate very just, you know, wow, you're really pretty, you're, you know, beautiful. And honestly, it's like I'm obligated to tell you thank you. That is very kind. Thank you for telling me. But what, what else do you want to talk about here? Because we, I mean, you're still a person, and I still got to know who you are. You know, tell me about you, you know, and am I going to have fun with you? You know, but I will say online or in person, if I'm approached in person, just generally, it's very indirect. Mm -hmm. It's usually my, the way, my experience. So they might talk to me about like, you know, I carry a 3DS Nintendo system around a lot, <laughs> so I get a lot of comments from there. <laughs> but, you know, it might be like, hey, what are you playing? You know, hey, can we street pass or something like that. Like, um, so I get a lot of comments indirectly, and then they'll kind of ask for my number later on. Oh. So 
That's it's, just my experience. So online, a guy will message you, oh, you're pretty, like a direct style. And you know, you have time to say thank you, but also it's sort of like everybody does that, right? But how would you feel if that same guy approached you on the street and said, hey, I think you're beautiful. I mean, wouldn't your reaction be completely different? My reaction is completely different. Yeah. Actually, on the way here, I didn't tell you this, this guy is riding his bike and he's, you know, I'm in a stoplight and he goes, yo, yo, and he's like trying to get my attention. I'm like, oh, someone's talking to me. And so I rolled down my window and he goes, you're really fucking beautiful. You don't need makeup. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, like, ah, you know, and I'm driving like, that was nice. Like, you made my day. Yeah. In person, that takes a lot more balls, right? Mm -hmm. Than just saying like, you know, online, like, hey, you're cute. Yeah, like if you get a, if a girl gets a message, you send like, oh, you're cute. You know, she can sit there and be like, roll her eyes, like, ah, whatever. But if a guy does it in person, it's a more powerful impact. And this is why I say, in real life meeting, you're gonna be more effective. You're going to be more confident and attractive to her. You're just gonna be more successful. You're gonna meet higher quality women. But you know what? Online dating is still a viable way to meet women. So uh, be sure to check out our product, OD4AM, or just get out there and meet real women. Okay, guys? So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our next video. Later, guys. Bye. Hey there. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.